Kresge's Crypto Cave here, and today's video is going to be a recap of August 2024. And actually, a lot happened, as boring as it was and dull as it was for GPU mining. Um, there was a lot of changes I made. Um, turned things on, turned things off, bought new miners, deployed new miners, so on and so forth. Uh, so I'm going to just give a quick rundown. I actually got to take some notes just because of all the different things I did. Um, but also, the first things I did near the beginning of the month, I did shut down my 2070s, 2080 Ti's, 3070 Ti's, 3060 Ti's, and the 3080s um, were all turned off. And then a few days later, I built the CMP 10210, the second rig of those, um, and I deployed them. Those are mining Zealous to Unminable and getting paid out in Solana. I'm um, trying to build a Solana bag. Um, I have a few there staking on Coinbase and just want to build a bigger bag. The other CMP rig is on Zealous, the K1 pool, and then I'm just basically mining it to Trade Ogre, swapping it out to USDT, and mainly buying Litecoin. Bought some Polkadot, bought some Cardano, uh, bought a little bit of Polygon just to put in some different wallets to move some GeoNet and Demo around. Um, I'm trying to think what else, but that's probably about it. Mainly USDT and, and um, Litecoin is basically what that's what's going on there. Um, as you can see in the transactions on the left here, it's a lot of a uh, lot of zealous transactions. Um, the Jazz Miner is still on, so I just noticed the Octospace payout. Uh, Jazz Miner is still on Octospace. That's the X41U that is still turned on. I didn't even check to see if it's even still profitable. It's probably pretty close, but it doesn't use a whole lot of power, so I'm not too, too concerned. Uh, it uses about 240, 50 watts, ballpark somewhere around there. Uh, the KS2 is still on. The S19J104 is still on. The S19K Pro is still on. And we'll see how the month ended out as far as income and um, thank God for DPN and nodes. Is a little preview, so um, we'll, just, we'll leave it at that for now. But uh, I'll just continue on with on some of the changes, double checking, um, just going reviewing what I do still have turned on. 1660 Ti's, they are still turned on. They are mining uh, Dynex to a mineable again, paid out in Raven. And then the 3070s and the CMP 10s, those are all on Zealous, like in a one rig to unmineable to Solana. Then uh, what else have we done? Uh, yeah, GeoNet Miner, uh, that was turned on somewhere in the middle of the month-ish, ballpark, somewhere in there. Um, I ordered that poof, back in April, and it finally came in. And then, I, as you saw that previous videos, I had it attached to the shed for a few days, then I moved it up to the roof, got a little bit better rewards, and now receiving daily payouts of 21 to 22 um, GeoNet, and that is working out well. I also deployed a helium indoor hotspot at my fiance's house, and that is doing really well. That's actually probably one of my best performing hotspots. Um, and I also did just um, deploy the outdoor hotspot in the same location this morning, um, so we'll see how that does. Uh, but that will basically be a change for September. Then uh, the AL0 came in around the 26th, I think, is when I turned that on. Um, so we'll take a look at that spreadsheet quick. I did just receive another payout this morning. Actually, just wanted to add something quick here. I just want to show my the spreadsheet, some of the things I added in here. Received a second payout for Alethium this morning, like I said. This was all in here before, but then they changed this to add the number of days online, average earn per day, mine value, average per day, current value, uh, days to break even mine value, days to break even current value, and then days remaining mine and current. A bunch of different metrics to track. Oh yes, KS zeros. Um, I, the last payout I received on those. After that, I switched them to solo mining. So the two original KS zeros that are overclocked to 160 giga hash. Those are net now solo mining. Uh, Caspa did not hit a block yet. They've been doing that for about two, three days now. The KS2, I'm debating about doing that as well, switching it to solo, um, but I want to wait till I get to another payout and then swap to solo and uh, and go from there. But I have about a week and a half, I bet, to to the payout amount. Uh, so I'll, I'll just let that run and I'll make a decision from there. Because it uses 1,200 watts, which isn't a ton of power, but it's not in insignificant either. So we'll see. I'll, I'll just make a decision on that as it gets closer. The what else did I do? 
um, BitX. I had that BitX turned on. That is on via BTC solo mining um, Bitcoin Cash along with the um, S19J Pro 104. The other thing, let's see. Oh, yes. Um, to make those little small miners. The Nano 3 was RMA shipped out. The fans were getting really noisy and obnoxious. Um, it stopped for a little bit, and then it started up again, and I was like, oh, screw this. And then I checked the email. I was like, I only I squeaked in within a day or two of the 30-day limit for the RMA number, so I would have had to start the process all over, so I did get that shipped out in time. We'll see how long that takes to come back. Um, I'll do an update video on that as well, because uh, I did just mail that on Friday is when that got shipped out. So, And I'll have to check the tracking number and see... Uh, uh, see if it was delivered. My guess with the holiday weekend in the U.S., it's probably not going to get there till Tuesday, Wednesday at the earliest. And then the last major thing for uh, August was I didn't make a parallel asset claim. And good lord, the fees are obnoxious. 73. Yeah, I think it was about 70, 68 or 73. I have to go back and double check. It was either one of the two numbers either 68 or 73 flux in fees to claim all my parallel assets. Um, but it ended up being a couple hundred bucks. Um, so roughly there's a hundred, roughly there's two, two and a quarter ish in, in parallel assets dollar value I claimed. Um, they've been stacking for a while. And the reason I did that is because in September, it's going to be another change that's coming up in September. So I could probably cross those two off the list that I already talked about. Um, I'm going to deploy some uh, Cumulus nodes with Terra Hosting. Uh, they're running a special for $5 uh, Cumulus nodes, which is pretty cheap. So I'll spin up four to five of those. And I, but I just need to wait till my Titan node expires on September 7th is when that happens. So once that comes and the coins hit my wallet again, then I could go through the process and sign up and set some of those. Set some of those up, I should say. And I believe that's everything. Yeah, that's all pretty much all the changes. So we can kind of get into it as far as what is going on and um, what we have earned, all that fun stuff. So if we go here, the first thing we're going to kind of see is the, because I had to insert a couple extra lines here since I made those flux parallel asset claims. So I had to insert some lines. So these are blank. They're supposed to be blank. And that's fine. I didn't want to rearrange the whole entire spreadsheet just for that. I like, screw it. Being lazy. But anyway, for the mind amount of node income, which I put the parallel asset claims in there as well, it's 316. Current value is 283. Actually, let's see if this works. Last time I did it on camera, it did not work. Yep, it worked. Now down to 281. So we just did the refresh, so we got the most recent pricing for that fun stuff. Then over here, these are highlighted yellowish because these are actually open sell orders on um, Trade Ogre at a higher price than what it is right now. Uh, it's at $10. I think these are sell orders are about anywhere from $0.10 cents to $0.30 cents higher than what the mine value was. So those are still, but this is what the current value is, is for them right now. That will change once the sell orders go through. Because I actually noticed Zealous is back under $9 again this morning, which sucks, but it is what it is. And then there's the last Bitcoin payout I took uh, from NiceHash. Got another 230 bucks ish so on and so forth. Mining income for the month. Mine value is $7.86. Current value is $7.77. Uh, so I lost about $9 there or so. And as you see over here, kind of spoilered, that total mining revenue for the month was $12.4806. Current value is 12.07, so capital loss on paper, unrealized, uh, is forty dollars and ninety-five cents as of right now. And then this is all the DPIN income is in here. So that's Demo. I have the app in the Tacoma, the AutoPi in the Supra. So those are all those payouts, the Helium Mobile payouts, and the GeoNet. So you can see the sixth, eighth, tenth, twelfth, fourteenth, sixteenth. And then the 16th and 17th, and that's when I started mid-month, is when I started getting them every single day instead of every two days. And so on and so forth. And then I went from claiming mobile tokens from bi-weekly to, I'm doing it weekly now, just since I have more devices, I can make more tokens to claim. So I'm going to do that weekly, pretty much every Saturday night. And as of last night, claimed 12366 for 13 bucks. This I swapped into USDC and then sent the USDC to Coinbase. 
and to get my 5% return on there. So, as far as coins mined for the month, I did receive one Alethium payout from the AL0 for five tokens, five Alethium, uh, for a value of eight bucks. The Bitcoin was just a one payout at the end of the month. It was for point zero zero three nine four two two four for two hundred thirty two dollars, and monthly income was about eighteen percent of the monthly income. Demo one hundred seventy seven demo for the month for twenty five bucks two percent. Flux. This is an anomaly because of the parallel asset claims, and when I did the parallel asset claims, I did swap them back to the native token. So that's another reason the fees were pretty ridiculously high. Because uh, I could have saved some fees that I left it on on their respective chains, but. The goal was I wanted to get enough to, to spin up another some nodes. Mm -hmm. So, um, so that's two hundred fifty bucks for twenty percent. That's going to be substantially higher than what it normally would be. And then Caspa six hundred and Caspa paid out for the month for hundred bucks. That probably doesn't cover the electric for the the KS two. Maybe it does. Maybe it doesn't. Uh, let's pull up a calculator quick. So we got 1200 times 24 divided by nah, point, I'm just going to round it up to 0.12. It's 0.11. So, so times 30. Nope. Oh! Yeah. So $103 electric today. So basically I lose 4 bucks a month to run that. So that's technically I guess that's going to be worth it because I think Casper is going to do well. I hope. Uh, and then Zealous. Mind 46 zealous for the month value of 335 bucks that's where the bulk of the income came from for 20 just under 27 percent cardano the cpu miners are still on on unmineable mining random x getting converted to cardano 23 bucks 1.89 percent and flux no, not flux node neoxy node payouts 58,500 51 dollars value neoxy keeps tanking but they're still profitable. Those two nodes only cost 12 bucks to run, so I'm still making $39 a month running those nodes. The I probably have about 90000 or so. I haven't sold some of the in a while just because it's been keep going down, 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 down. I might have to start adding to the problem. So, and then I uh, received the Octospace payouts of 20 bucks, 20 Octospace for $34. 1600 Raven for 26 534 GeoNet for $75 worth, and that's more than 10% of the value of the miner in just one month. It's on pace to pay it off in less than 10 months, which actually I made some changes to some spreadsheets too. So I think I'm going to do a complete video um, as far as spreadsheets and how I have them set up. I could give you as my examples and some different calculations and stuff like that if you want to use them. The only thing you would have to change is your API key for CoinGecko. You would have to sign up for your own. Um, because I only have a limited number that I could do per day, so I didn't wouldn't be able to obviously send my own API key out and have everybody hammer in mine, so then I won't be able to use it. So uh, Chia Chia Miner's still on. It doesn't show in the pool now, so something might not be quite right. Uh, I should have a payout received today for 0 .01 uh, Chia, but made a whopping at one dollar and four cents. Uh, received one Solana payout from the. CMP 10 rig that is on there on mineable uh, 0.15 Solana for 23 bucks 835 Zillica that was staking claims and that I just claimed it there just because I had some in my wallet to restake another thousand on uh, Zilpay so that's what that is so that's 11 bucks 310 pre search two dollars and sixty cents those nodes cost me six bucks to run so when those expired, probably will not be turning back on unless something drastic happens. Uh, unfortunately, pre-search has been just going down, 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 down as well. Uh, so the game plan there is once those nodes expire, I am just going to transfer them all to the Raspberry Pi that I have running at home. So, because that might use, what, five watts, if that. So much cheaper to run there. And then... Mobile tokens for the month claim thirty six thousand four hundred and seventeen for forty five dollars worth of that. And that's pretty much it for that. Now let's go to uh let's take a look at electricity. So electricity bill for the month was thirteen seventy seven twenty. 
use 11,582 kilowatt hours, and it, that translates into 0.1189, so just under 12 cents per kilowatt, which sucks. Uh, this time last year, I probably had a nickel, but it is what it is. Uh, yeah. Oh, well. But anyway, the EVG, the 1660 Ti rigs use 405 kilowatts. Uh, the 2070s, they were only on for a few days of the month, and they were shut down. They used 51.8. Uh, 3070 Ti's used 65.8. Shed used 7,900 kilowatt hours. For total kilowatt used for mining, it was 84.28, and it was about $1,002.20 of that bill. It's actually probably a little bit more than that, just because the CPU rigs are not monitored, like I mentioned before. I probably need to find that other Wemo device and see if I can get that up and running just so I can monitor that and track that as well. But it's probably 400 watts. Let's get the calculator back up. Let's see, 400 watts times 24 hours divided by 1,000 times 0.1 times 30. So maybe another $35 of electric bill for the CPU miners. Then maybe I should get a second one for the uh, another one, if I can find one or find a different type of device that does that uh, to monitor the desktop that I'm recording this on because I had that on salad um, when I am not using it. It's paused right now, obviously, uh, because I'm recording, but um, it is will be on salad once I basically get the video edited, uploaded, all that stuff, get back on salad and uh, make a few bucks there. So actually we can just pop over here quick too for salad. Current balance got 20 bucks in there. Um, I already took one payout at 20.2250 for a PayPal. I already received that the last 30 days. Had a good little stretch here. That uh, was what, 280, just under five, just under five, just under five. Received $4.98 there. Stinker. Meh, 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 and then not even three three tenths of a cent so far today. So, but it's been idle. Once I noticed this morning when it was idle and, and calculating, so I just never I just paused it so it didn't start uh, calculating and when I wanted to record. So we'll pop back over here. So, and then income statement for the month. Here we go. This is the value at the time of mining. So 786 for mining, 316, 145, 1,000 for electric. Hosting fees were 46. Net profit, 199. So less than 200 bucks. That's a big difference from early this year, as you can see. 1,500, 1,300, 2,300. Yeah. Big old difference. So this is basically a 100% return, over a 100% return in a month of my investment into electricity. And now, currently, roughly 1000 bucks. I mean, if you get a 20% return every month, most people wouldn't bitch, but as crypto miners, we bitch. Because so, we're used to stuff more like this, where we're doubling our money every month as far as what we're putting into electric. Not so much right now. So, and it looks even worse when you go over to the current value just because of the price of tokens and stuff went down. And so that's down to $158. So that's even worse. But, yeah. So, income for the year so far was at $7,800. It's down to $6,000. And that's after paying the electric and all that fun stuff. So, yeah. Still technically profitable. Thank God for nodes and the parallel assets. Because if it wasn't for them, I would not have I would have been negative this month. So the we'll see how things go for September. And of course, I'm yoloing it in September. So I had the S19J Pro 104 solo mining uh, Bitcoin Cash. I'm going to do that for the entire month of September. Figure why not? Fuck it. Let's give it a whirl. So, might as well, might as well try. <laughs> it's not really making much on uh, pool mining on Bitcoin, so might as well give it a shot. See what it'll do. See if we could get lucky in a block. Because I'm like, get, I haven't looked at a loan calculator, but I'm guessing time frame with about 60, 70, 68 tera hashes, probably multiple months to hit a block on Bitcoin Cash. So. 
Uh, let's see if I can get lucky and, and catch one pretty quick. If not, oh well. It is what it is. It's not like it's going to be super pooper profitable anyway. So um, The other nice thing is I will have a little bit more deep pin income next month. Just be from the Geodet Niner and the um, second outdoor hotspot. Wi-Fi hotspot. The only thing is with the different hips that passed, um, I had to see when they t exactly take effect as far as proof of coverage and all that stuff you need. Like, you basically need to have a Helium mobile plan hit your hotspot to at least once a day, I guess, to get rewards. So, But that's a topic for a completely another video. But, but just wrapping things up for August, still squeak by profitable, just barely. And that was mainly because of the parallel asset claims. So... Um, September's probably going to be negative, I bet. Um, so, but we'll have to see. It just started. Hopefully, the AL zero offsets some of that. Um, fingers crossed, I could get as much back of that as I can in the next month, month or so before all the AL ones start getting hammered on. But they shipped, so might only have a week or so of that left. So, but luckily, that is using a whole lot of power anyway. So. It is what it is, so we'll let that go for a while. And then might have to switch that over to solo mining as well or something, but who knows. But we'll figure it out. We'll keep plugging it away. Uh, if I have to turn some more rigs off, I could turn some more rigs off and uh, maybe shut down some of the ones that aren't profitable, like the Bitcoin miners. They're not really making anything. They're actually costing me money. Um, the KS2 is costing me money, but like $4 a month or whatever I figured out before, I could deal with that, so... Um, the S19s are, will be the first ones that will get shut down. But I just want to play around with the, at least the 104. It's using about 1,500 watts. And I just give it 30 days a shot and solo on that for Bitcoin Cash. Let's see if we get lucky. And that will turn the month around real nice. So, but anyway, until the next one, we will catch you later.